Welcome back to this section. This is, if you've just been watching all the videos from the Glueware live stream, you might be interested in knowing a little bit more about what's happening behind the scenes. I'm talking with Ernest Lefter. He's the Chief Product Officer at Glueware. Now, Ernest, what's the history behind Glueware? Where does it come from and how did it get to where you are now? That's a, a great question. Glueware has been around for about 10 plus years. It really started out as an SD-WAN company focusing on IWAN. And about four years or so ago, Olivier and Jeff turned the company towards, you know, this whole concept of, of intelligent network automation. Hmm. And so that that growth was really back in the days of SDN. Glueware came out of this idea, of, but it was unique in the sense that it was automating the brownfield. So sure. you could take Glueware and put it on top of your existing network and do the automation. Yeah, that's really the foundation of, of where Glueware has come from. And really, what it's a big differentiator for us in the marketplace. You know, a lot of companies try to tackle the higher levels of automation, but we're really focused on, on how do you talk to the devices? How do you generate all those configurations to those brownfield environments and just manage the what people thought before was the unmanageable? So when you say intelligent network automation, what do you mean about intelligent? Is that intent? Is that mystical magic? Is that AI ML? Is it, what's a great mean? question. I, I don't have my Harry Potter wand, but I, I really like this conversation. Intent is really all about a, a, a config, a template, right? Mm -hmm. That you want to roll out. You have a vision of a network and you want to drive it out there. But Greg, you and I both know networks aren't driven out by templates, right? There's always a little bit of difference at every single device, you know, when you have a branch office or a data center router or et cetera. What intelligence is about looking at of the circumstances of every single device and maintaining it to the specs and standard that that device needs. And then having the intelligence to manage that device behind the scenes without that kind of crazy manual intervention yeah. for each one. So that means you can put Glueware on top of Juniper EVPN just as likely as you can across, you know, a 20 year old Cisco CLI router, if that's what you have to do, because you can read the config, manipulate it according to templates, intelligent templates that do most of the work for you. And more recently, Glueware has adapted into this concept of robotic process automation, which I think is really the future. Explain the concept of probably process automation, because that's not the way we normally talk about software, but I get the idea. So maybe we need to explain the idea of robotic process automation. Yeah, absolutely. So really technology isn't just the tech and process isn't just the process. So you really need to bring those two things together. Any company's got like a change management process or a process they use to configure devices, Plus, they have the, the process they use to manage that technology. Robotic process automation for us brings all of that together, and it lets mm -hmm. you use a low-code, no-code, drag-and-drop interface to either open change tickets, manage the technology, roll out configs, update OSs, et cetera. And we literally have these little robots that sit at the edge of your network. They listen for – they either – bounce off timed events or they listen for triggers coming from your monitoring system and they can take action for you on behalf of the network, really driving those first steps into self-automating. So what you're expanding there is not just the device-centric idea. You're actually saying there's a bunch of systems around the network, help desk systems, monitoring systems, ticketing systems, and you're saying you need to automate the entire process. So if a ticket is generated, then something happens on the network or vice versa. If an event happens in the network, Glueware will be able to go off to say, you know, some to the ticketing system and auto generate a ticket for somebody to look into. That, that's exactly right. Or if mm. you have a custom API yourself that does special things for your business, we can right. bring those in as tasks as well. Or somebody else's other thing, like some an SD-WAN yeah, exactly. platform, you know, or, or Cisco's ACI, you could operate that potentially if you've got some kinks. So you could lean into that type of stuff. Is that also part of the DevOps then? So do you see this as part of net DevOps? Yeah, absolutely. I mean so we uh, it, part of Glueware is, is what we call Glueware Lab, which is our IDE environment. And that's our internal CI CD environment. It's what mm. we use to develop the product. It's what you could use, Greg, to develop the product. And mm. you can bring that net DevOps approach directly to your environment out of the box. How much work do I have to do to do this? Like one of the keys here is that if I'm going to poll somebody's API, I don't want to be sitting there reading the API documentation and working out every bit. I want, I, I imagine the term robotic means that there's a lot of this tasking is already done for me. Have you done some of that work? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we approach it a couple of ways. First, 
you know, in the interim, we have uh, an integration with StackStorm, which gives us access to 167 integrations. Mm -hmm. And on the second half of that is we have what we call API endpoint support. You know, Olivier is a real smart guy, and mm -hmm. he built an automated way to, to point our interface at your API, digest all of those calls, bring them as features within Blueware, and then surface them as tasks with an RPA. So you could bring your own API and we'll learn it for you. So you're heading towards no code then? Just yeah. sort of drag and drop, click, you know, you get a GUI console, you can commit um, really simple automations very quickly just from the web browser interface. That's, that's exactly right. Mm. But equally, if I remember, I'm thinking of it because we've been talking on and off over the years, Glueware also lets you go all the way down to the CLI and use Got templates. It. You could still, you know, hit the CLI on iOS or Junos and still be cutting away there, but other times you might just be using a no-code environment and dragging and dropping existing tool chains and boom, away you go. That's exactly right. Matter of fact, that RPA takes you so deep. There's an interface that shows you a log. We call it the crash replay log. It gets mm. you into the nitty gritty of everything that's happening. And if like if a workflow goes off, you know, goes off the rails, you can see exactly where it went, why it broke and, and what you need to do to fix it. Okay. So is this really evolving? Where's where's Glueware going from here? You've got the robotic process automation, you've got the tool chain, and the thing the thing here is that it's multi-vendor, multi-technology. You can basically ingest any technology. So a customer could come to you and say, Oh yeah, like you've already got like 40 vendor operating systems as part of your platform, but you could say, I've got some weird device. Can I still customize myself? Can I do it myself for that? Absolutely. We so we generally do the onboarding of the devices for you. It can take about two to three weeks in order to in order for that to finish the entire development environment. Um, but that's we're focused on horizontal scaling. It's about you know we feel like the network's in a good place. Let's look at security. Let's look at AI, et cetera. That's where mm -hmm. we're expanding. Okay. Well, if people want to get more information about Glueware, head on over to glueware.com where you'll be able to get oh, lots of information. And of course, just uh, hit them up and they'll be delighted to come and knock on your door and set the sales dogs to chase you down. Thanks very much, Ernest. Thank you. Cheers.